Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and Capricorn Rising. Weekly tarot reading, September 2nd to September 8th, uh, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we can ju jump a right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of uh, your week is going to be the Eight of Cups, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the uh, Page of Swords. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the positive aspect of the week, which is going to be the Page of Wands. And then the last one that we do have for you is going to be the Moon card, which stands for the Guidance. Alright. So, um, this week it does look like that you have to make a piece with a, a specific situation into your life. Most likely a situation that up until this moment you have invested a little bit of a, uh, emotions into it. It doesn't have anything to do with material gains or something like that. It's just you, let's say you have placed the great hopes into and that situation is either uh, set into halt or you have found out that you have been lied about. Right, but before we see how this things plays out, let's run the cards one more time. Now, the first one here is going to be the Eight of Cups, followed by the next one, which is the Page of Swords. That is going to be the challenge. This one here, it is the general topic in team of the week. Then we do have the Page of Wands, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the last one here, guys, is going to be the Moon card, which represents the guidance. All right, so Eight of Cups. This card is usually associated with letting go of. Simply what the card here says, or in general what the card says, is although the current status or the current place you're finding yourself at may be a bit misfortunate, all right? You may have found yourself a bit disappointed with your results or how the thing stands into your career or into your relationship, a, there are better perspectives that are awaiting you in the future. So for that reason, you shouldn't kind of like drop off spiritually and uh, lose the strength of your um, mind. I don't know how to really ex explain it. But instead of looking into the past, all right, and try to recapture yesterday, which was going to make you lose tomorrow, okay, look straight away into tomorrow. Does not concern yourself with what could have been, but only start thinking of what can be in the future. So in this case, <clears throat> the Eight of Cups here urges you to make your peace with a breakup, to make your peace that you did not get that promotion, to make your peace that you have been lied, for example, to make your peace with a thing that disappointed you recently in your life. The accompanied card is going to be the Ace of uh, Wands, the formation. It is a, a passive enemies that we do have. So uh, it does look like that this situation which disappointed you either career-wise or either relationship-wise recently, it's, it's a bit deprived from uh, um, new circumstances to arise 
which are to allow you to be gaining full into it, all right? So pretty much, unfortunately, excuse me guys, there are some people outside with children and my God. Um, yeah, anyway, so uh, the Ace of uh, Wands here uh, points that there won't be another goal anytime soon, okay? Or at least not throughout this week. Through, throughout this week, trying to uh, improve that specific situation which you are finding yourself deeply disappointed with, uh, it's going to be a bit futile, at least according to these cards, and it's, it's, it's only going to become more and more chaotic, okay? Why, uh, to, a, to a point where you are going to learn the hard way that it is better to seek for something new rather than to try to fix something which is already broken. Like, for example, your trust, okay? So, let's say someone betrayed your trust. There is no point giving that person a chance to regain your trust because that person is what that person is. People don't change in over a night, let's say, okay? So it's best to just make your peace with it and try to associate yourself with someone that actually um, deserves your trust. So the next one is going to be in regards to the challenges that you need to overcome. We do have that person here, Page of Swords. Uh, in a negative position the page, the, or in the challenging position, the Page of Swords, it's about a, a person who presents fictions as facts, okay? So it's a liar or it's a person who deceives. Um, not necessarily a liar, all right? But it is a person who twists the reality twists the truth in a way that pleases them, okay? And it is very difficult to um, distinct which is which. And uh, their words are like, let's say poison, okay? Their, their words are really, really like a poison and you quickly can fall into some sort of a um, schemes, okay? Schemes that that person came up with. Another thing you need to know that uh, when the Page of Swords falls into a negative position or into a challenging position, they are very quick into temper. They always arguing, okay? No matter what you say, they're always counter or they're adopting a counter position, contradictive position to what you say and they are arguing with you constantly for a reason being it is that they do not accept a foreign opinion and they do think that they know it all and, you know, no one else have a clue what they are talking about. The accompanied card here is going to be the Two of Cups. Formation, it is a active neutrals. Uh, as an active neutrals, although the page may have some sort of a uh, feelings for you from a sense of, let's say, friendship or from a sense of, let's say, emotional, uh, emotional attachment, like love, uh, for them, how they stand and for them being always right, it's more important. OK, so that could be, for example, your partner who who is humiliating you on the public places just so they can show up how stupid you are and how clever they are so that you cannot live without them or rather like without them you're nothing it could be like this with these uh, with these two cards but the whole point with the two of cups and with the page of swords is that this person totally have a uh, let's say control not over you but over your connection and it's it's bossing around that control it's as simple as uh, as that it's clear as day here with these two cards so the positive aspect it is another person that we do have that is going to be the page of wands and this one encourages you to sever ties because the page of wands will uh, make you see how strong you are uh, on your own all right and how bright the future can be should you leave behind that luggage that that burden which the other the, the other page is creating in your life so it's like a um how, how do i place it it's it's like a break you have okay uh, it's like a break that this every time you try to do something that page of swords which is associated with you puts a break 
on your um, enthusiasm, puts a break on your um, <clears throat> on your eagerness, right, or or on your vitality. It's um, it's basically puts a break on everything that you try to do for your own accord. Why? Because the Page of Swords with the Two of, of Cups here into challenging position wants you to be dependable. They want you to be dependent on them. No different than, for example, let's say that you are married for a, a rich woman, okay? And you want to start working, but every time you try to find yourself a job for one or another reason, this woman interferes with your search and you are never able to. Or if you find a job, that woman, because it's rich and has connection, calls to your, to your future employer and makes them do not accept your application. That is a very drastic interpretation, but it could be that kind of a thing. And so the page of Cup of Wands here urges you to sever ties, you know, to start living your life on your own accord because you don't have to be dependent or dependable on this page of swords. Okay, you can be strong enough and you can face everything that comes around on your own accord. So, in other words, your sense of insecurity that <clears throat> you may kind of imagining without the page of without having the page of swords into your life it is the only thing that makes you disappointed really the the next one is going to be the um hermit card which is a company uh, accompanying the page of uh, wands formation it is a active neutrals uh, a bit peculiar combination to be honest uh, this points uh, to the clamor that your faith is your own, okay? You are the only one who forges your faith. You can't expect that something miraculous is going to happen and is going to save your, uh, is going to save you or is going to save your feelings, feelings or is going to save your situation without you lifting up your finger, without you making the tough calls, without you making those irreversible actions that are required so you can you know, you can sever the source of disappointment in your life. It's all in your hands, right? Uh, and you don't have to think twice about it. You either feel good about something or you either feel bad about something. It doesn't matter if your emotions are love, okay? It's all about what you feel. The next one, uh, or the last one, is going to be the moon card, which points to the guidance that Tara is offering to you, uh, Capricorns. So um, the moon card here uh, points that every new beginning or every new assumption, you know, or new agenda, new goal, um, it's, um, or new perspective in this case, it's always accompanied with sense of fear, with sense of insecurity, with sense of vagueness as well, you know, because you don't know how it's going to turn out. You don't know where you're going to end up at the end. But in this case, the moon card here points that you are actually, in fact, going to set yourself on the right path. The moon card just represents that. I said in almost every reading I do, the, the card here represents a path that goes beyond the summit. You don't know where it goes. You don't know what is beyond the summit. OK, but it is the path that you got to make. All right. It is the path that you got to walk over. And the moon is another testament that this situation is not going to improve on its own accord. You are the only one who can improve it. You are, uh, this, uh, from a sense that this part, you will have to walk it over one way or another. Okay. So if your, if what I explained here with these cards is about your marriage and is about your relationship, too bad. Okay. It means that that there is no improvement there. I mean, you got to seek the new perspective. Okay. Uh, if it is about your career, too bad as well. If it is about a friendship, well, too bad as well. You you simply have to try to find a new friend and etc. etc. But definitely this week is going to set you off on a path that uh, you cannot avoid one way or another. You can postpone it by feeding up the misery you are in. You know, all right. But sooner or later, it's going to catch up with you. The accompanied card here is going to be the Six of Cups and the formation. It is a, uh, active, a passive, excuse me, passive uh, supporters that we do have. And that uh, is quite good. I mean, um, with the Six of Cups here, uh, the only thing that you got to do in order to find that path is to do what you please. Okay, do what makes you happy. Do what has 
that synchro synchronization in between the physical uh, in between excuse me the material and the uh, ethereal aspect in a sense of that you gotta do things that you find physically and emotionally appealing for example you know you want to start new relationship well then you don't have to make compromise with your emotions and your chemistry okay because these two cards that path is gonna lead you toward a person that you are gonna like very well physically and the emotional flow is gonna run in between you two almost uninterrupted all right or if it is about job these two cards points that you should make a compromise with your job criteria all right because this part is gonna lead you to a job that is gonna be for example well paid you will be able to be creative at it and you will like what you do okay so ultimately all that it takes is recognize what makes you miserable, okay? And have the mental strength here to resist the lies, to resist the manipulations, to resist the these kind of maneuvers of the person from the other side that tries to keep you in this hole, okay? And listen to the one who boosts your determination, I would say, to sever ties, sever those ties and straight toward a the new perspective that is emerging for you very very soon so that being said guys this was your weekly tarot reading september 2nd to september 8 2019 i hope you enjoyed and you liked it and uh we're going to see each other around until then bye